Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is not a video by us, this is a video by Trifabian. They found a gun on a deserted beach in Northern Australia. Enjoy the video. So the story goes, we were conducting a cleanup on a remote beach in far North Queensland. The equatorial currents direct all the debris onto this particular beach, making it a hotspot for awesome finds. On this day, we were lucky enough to stumble across a Rob Allen 1400 railgun buried in the sand. We were so impressed by how well it had withstood the harsh conditions, we decided to make it our goal to show how hardy these guns are and do something that was never been done before. It didn't take much to fix the gun up before we were able to shoot the pinnacle of the spearfishing world, a dog tooth tuna. Not many people can say they pulled a gun out of the sand and shot a doggy with it. Coming. First doggy I've ever seen, really. Yeah. So I'm swimming off, chasing the bait, and I hear a squeal underwater, <laughs> full blown <laughs> squeal. Turn around, and there's a doggy swimming straight underneath me. And this is the gear. Hunt marker. Brought that from spear and tackle. This is a um, very strategic and tactical float that I made up. It is a piece of foam from a boat, fridge, freezer, I don't know. But it worked. And then it produced a doggy. And then the Rob Allen 1500 that we found in the sand at Cape Flattery. That was, I shot it twice practicing. And then the first fish I ever shot with it was a dog tooth tuna. So that'll be a good story. Got a good video of it pulling out of the sand too. I hope you enjoyed that, especially the uh, homemade float. Uh, just be aware if you do find an old gun, no matter what brand it is, have a good look at the barrel itself if it's aluminium, check for corrosion. You don't want something to destruct on you when you try and load it. Hope you enjoyed that one. Stand by for the next. Did we get somebody walking through there? <laughs>